Welcome back everybody, my name is Always, and welcome to the next video of JavaScript Essential Training Series. Alright, so in the last video we've seen how we can get element from HTML to JavaScript by using this uh, get element by ID, get element by tag name, and get element by names. Okay, so in this video we are going to learn how to create elements how to change element. So right now I'm going to give you a quick example first. So we go back to index.html and let's say I have this element here. P tag, right? We have ID is equal to P1. Hello, this is a paragraph. What if I want to change this by JavaScript? So what we can do here, we go back to script.js and here I have the variable where I stored this p1 ID and we got that handle through this uh, this element of index.html page by using get element by ID now we are going to change that so what I can do it's very simple I can use p1 and I can call the matter on it in HTML is equal to and then we can set a new value here so I would just say I changed the text by using JavaScript and let's save the file and now I'm gonna check you here and here we're going to refresh the page and you will see that this will change now refresh the page and as you can see that it's telling me I changed the text by using JavaScript and now if I just comment this out by Typing slash here, let's save the file and let's refresh the page. And as you can see here, we can see how well this is a paragraph which is an an original text written in HTML p tag. That's the one. But with the help of this p1 dot inner HTML, we can change that value. Now we learned how to change the text into the p tag. By using the ID and then using dot inner HTML method. Now I'm gonna show you how to create elements using JavaScript. Well, we can create an element. I'm going to create a new variable, and then let's just say create p tag is equal to document dot create element. Use that, and now we're going to type in the in the parentheses and in double quotation what kind of element we want to create. So let's say I'm going to create another p tag, and then let's just finish that by adding a semicolon. I'm going to save the file. Now we created an element, but we need to we need to add a data to it. We need to add a text to it, which is a p tag. Right now it's empty. So what I can do, I can create use uh, this create p tag variable dot I'm going to type inner HTML is equal to and let's just say I just created a new p tag with JavaScript okay so we have created a new p tag we added this text to it now, how do we add that to paint or how do we add this to a particular div or let's say where we want to add this. Let's say if you want to add this to nav and then you are you on our list and list item and you want to add a p tag somewhere here. I'm actually going to delete this one. Or you want to add this to something like in a div which has the ID of main container. Let's look at how we add that into a div, which would be the same method to add that to any other element. Now here, I'm going to add a space, and then I'm going to use this document dot, uh, document dot get element. First of all, we need to get that element where we want to add. So I'm gonna get that element by ID, and then that would be our main container which says main container I'm going to select it here and let's just paste it here in case I misspell this now after this parenthesis I'm going to type dot a decimal point and then we have another method append child 
So add a parenthesis and here we can call that variable where we created a new p tag and store that into create p tag here. Okay, I'm going to call this a variable create p tag. Let's save the file and I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to refresh the page and down here you can see I just created a new p tag with a JavaScript. Let's close this console. And then I'm going to go back and let's just say updated. Save it. So we sh we're sure that we created a new one. So we, we actually created a new one. So I just created a new p tag with JavaScript updated. So I use basically two things here. I created a new variable and then I created a new element by using document.createElement method and then we use the p tag here and then create p tag dot inner html I use this method to add text to it and then we actually append that to our main container now we have this create uh, element but if you want to be specific such as if you want to be specific to create another uh, text element so what you can do I'm going to create create text element is equal to document dot create text node so that's how you can be you can be more specific so I can just type here uh, this is another text node and then instead of just using a p tag and then adding this create p tag dot inner html and adding this paragraph to it I can simply use create element sorry create this is a variable and then document dot create text node and then add this to it now I'm going to add this to our main container so let's just type document dot get element by id and then here let's just type main container and then dot append child and then we can say create text element variable save the file let's go back and refresh and let's see if we have that yep we got that there so you, you want to be specific then you can use this well I had so many questions that whenever I watch a tutorial or I learn a new language I would always ask a question that how come this person know to use this well I've been saying this to any of my tutorial whether it's a Java tutorial or it's a it's a JavaScript tutorial I know a few other languages as well but uh, anything you want to find out in the language you need to go to the documentation you need to go to the documentation of whether it's JavaScript so let's just say DOM HTML and then we search for the reference so one of them is JavaScript HTML DOM W3 school and here if we go down here we can see this document DOM document and then here we can find out we can get the element by ID by tag name by class name and then we can change the element by element dot inner HTML we can set the attributes and we have this as you can see I've just used that create element which creates a HTML element it can remove the child as well it can append the child you see these methods replace child write text okay so all of these we just used before and these are all the methods that you can properties basically you can use them from HTML so I'll just show you the DOM HTML documentation as well so no one remember these things so remember if you want to be better with any program language you always go back to the documentation I mean obviously to create something you need to watch tutorials you need to have someone to show you how to do stuff by using a logic or creating something uh, you need to know but uh, for the basic stuff you need to find the documentation of a particular language here I'm going to show you the text node I just created I probably have to search for Google I actually did before I was creating this tutorial so in this video we'll learn how to create a new element 
I mean, it's not just the P, you can just type A element here, anchor tag, you can do that. And you can type inner element and then type the text and do, this will just create a anchor tag as well. So you can create a list item here as well. Uh, it's all those HTML tags that you can use here. If you don't know about HTML, then I think you shouldn't be watching this video or you shouldn't be watching JavaScript because JavaScript is, uh, is the third language you should be learning after HTML and CSS3. So I'm pretty sure whoever watching these tutorials know HTML and CSS. So I don't have to explain why I'm writing LI here. So this is it to search uh, in the documentation and uh, we're gonna work on the forms from the next video. Chase. And yes, make sure you subscribe to our channel and please, please, please uh, join our Facebook group. Alright, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.